Well, good morning. Here we are again. We must stop meeting like this. Wednesday, 25th of March. And today is day three of my key worker shift. And also, another important part is it's Mrs. Motorhead's birthday today. Hope you have a lovely day locked in the house. So she's at home at the moment, homeschooling and also working for a moment at the same time. So as normal, she's doing what mums normally do, which is everything. So happy birthday, I hope you like your card. I will try and put a picture of your card on this video if I am allowed to I must seek uh, authorization first because it's one of these cards where you edit yourself and it's got a picture on so I don't think my wife is the only one but our most wives girlfriends don't seem to like being on camera especially YouTube so we're gonna have a little special birthday message from the little lad, which you all know. Uh, again, um, you probably won't see my daughter in this message, because she's also the same, doesn't want to be on camera. Dad, you're so embarrassing, you're so cringy, so. More like it'll be just me and Trent, the two immature ones. So, easy birthday message. Hope you enjoy it. Happy birthday to you, happy birthday to you, happy birthday dear mommy, happy birthday to you. Oh, hold on a minute, I need to, um, I need to make a fine adjustment, hold on, oh, me. oh the zip on my trousers is sticking in my... Oh. Stabbing me in my sensitive regions. Oh, that's better. So we are on. I'm showing air temperature one degrees. Trust me, it's not one degrees. I've not got my thermal trousers on today. So I think with this bike, um, I might be wrong. It'd be good to hear from a few other VFR owners. Does it take some time for the air temperature to pick up the correct ambient temperature? I mean, I noticed yesterday I did about two miles before it started reflecting the true temperature. So at the minute it's showing one degrees. I mean, it could be one degrees, I suppose. There's no frost this morning, so I'd, I doubt it's been that cold. So day three, here we are, day three. This is my last day of my shift, so I'm off. I'll finish at dinner time today, so I'm off this afternoon, I'm off Thursday, I'm off Friday. I'm back in on Monday. So the other shift come and take over for the rest of the week. I don't think there was much change or update last night from the government. Hi, Motorev. I would just like to say thank you for abiding by all the rules and keeping safe. Now, can you pass that message on to all your friends? Thank you. I still need to do some nether region adjustments. Something's sticking in me. And it's sticking where it doesn't need to be sticking. I seriously need to adjust these jeans. Oh my God, what, what is it there? What's sticking in me? Should we try a bit of music this morning? Oh no. Oh. This one's for you. Birthday wife. 
I think I've got Motley Crew come on in my headset. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to listen to it for you. I'm having a bit of Motley Crew on the way to work. I think it is. Da -da 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 I think it is. I'm alive. I'm alive. I got a voice. What's so high pitched? Even the dogs are crying. Da -da -da. I used to work there at that Kia garage when I was in my early 20s. Used to be a Vauxhall garage then. I need to turn down here for a long time. I used to come here every day now, can you believe I've now all of a sudden got it wrong? I'll tell you what. Stupid of, stupid of off-roading. Yesterday we had a little trip to Normandy. Um, shall I take you on another trip? Wonder where we can go. Right, so we're doing the same again. Let's just imagine we are on tour. I'm looking in my mirror. I can see all the boys behind. And today, in this beautiful weather, we are going to... I know where we're going because I don't think we can go there. Right, today, people, we're going to Ellan Valley in Wales. So, as you just sit back, the sky is blue. The temperature is warm. We've got a beautiful view of the mountains. And we're going to have a nice little ride. So sit back and enjoy this little clip. And forget everything what's going on around you. Right, so I'm coming up to doing my last shift for the week. My last day of exposing myself to the possibility of the virus, but it's what we do. The only problem, what's not nice and does not feel comfortable is every single day I come home with the possibility of putting my wife and my children's life at risk because it's what I do for the job. And we have to make these sacrifices. And they said ours is nothing to compare to what the NHS are having to do. So we all do our little part where we can. 
So peeps, thanks for the ride this morning. I hope you enjoyed the trip around Elan Valley. I'll catch you after my, I'm only on half a day today. It's only a half a day shift. So I will catch you after my shift. And we'll have a think for next week where I'm gonna take you on tour there. Should we go somewhere different? Catch you all soon, peoples. Thank you for watching. See you at dinner time. So that's day number three done. That's the end of my shift. I'm all done. It's time to go home and see the wifey for the birthday. Now I know the NHS have been asking for volunteers and Darren Edwards, who's a motor river, has put a post up on the Facebook saying that he has volunteered to the NHS and his plan is to do currying service. So he might be delivering uh, prescriptions to people, medicine and items to hospitals. So I'll put a link up for it. So if anybody else out there who wants to volunteer to do your little bit, I'd imagine it will be much appreciated. But one thing if you do go for it guys, you want to go out on your bikes and be a courier to help the NHS, you need to just check with your insurance company to make sure you are insured. Now I know Darren Edwards um, insurance company gave him the thumbs up and said you know he's fine but the the goods he will be carrying are not insured. So if he's carrying any medical equipment or anything like that that's not covered on his insurance. Only him and his bike is covered. So just be aware of that, guys. There's the old man for the window. It's about as close as I can get to him. Hello, girl. Look at you. Don't you look nice? You look very nice. Oh, you're a light someone. You're winking at me. No, you're not winking at me. You're giving me the eye because you fancy me. Don't you? I know you do. You love me long time. Beautiful day, isn't it? Yeah, I'm done there for the week. Yep. Ready, how then? Up, speed to that tap. Drop. Drop. I'll see you later, Dad. My bike is vital to the survival of this country and saving lives. So in the future when they look back at the defining moment of the end of the coronavirus, I'm hoping my VFR will be in the history books of this was the workhorse that saved the world. So that's it for today's episode. Again, thank you all for watching. I'm now not on shift till next week, so there might be a bit of change by then, but um, over the next couple of days and over the weekend, you know, I might be able to make a little video from home or something, we will see. So, 25th of March 2020, Mrs. Motor Rev's birthday, the country's on lockdown, the sun is shining, over and out. Come on then girl, let's get you washed. Let's get you clean.